Good morning guys from Chompon here in Thailand. Now today we're having a bit of a relax, we're going to have a beach day. But before we head off out, I'm just going to give you a super quick room tour because this place is incredible value. We are paying five, six pounds a night. Yeah, that's ridiculous, isn't it? We've got this balcony area that we can sit on. Super nice. Nice little view. And then it's quite a big room to be honest. I mean, there's a lot of random stuff in here, like random beds, whatever. But we've got an aircon. We've got a big bed. I mean, I don't know what more we need. It's a nice hard bed as well. I actually really like the hard beds. But yeah, for five pounds a night, it's absolutely perfect. Bang in the middle of Chumpon City. So yeah, let's go and grab some breakfast somewhere on this street and then head to the beach. So yeah, let's go. We were just walking down the street and instantly you just get this huge whiff of pork bean fried. We have found like a moo crab place, like a Moutard, that fried pork, which is frying it fresh. So let's take a look. Oh wow. I like Mark. That looks so good. So we're gonna get two plates of this over rice. It's 35 baht each. Super tiny little operation. The lady was really nice. Really, this lady's got congee as well. Yeah, this is going to be really good. It looks really good. So what do you have? Me, me, job. Job. Ah, okay. Maybe we have... Mugob. And then... Kongni. The people here are so nice. We were actually sat at the wrong table. We were sat at the Konji ladies' table. And then they've actually just pulled out their table. So we can sit. They said it's usually takeaway only, but... The food looks so good. Now this... It's not like moo crab. This is just moo tord. Like she said, like fried pork. It looks absolutely delicious. And I've just asked for a few more chilies, and she's given us the mother lord. Look at this bad boy. So we'll get some of these on here. Look at this. To like heaven. Look at them. Oh, drop one. Yeah, so that looks so good. And we also had this like, is it like a soy base sauce or something? So yeah, just a nice plate of crispy pork over rice. Let's try the pork. Oh, it's literally fried up, fresh. It looks so good. That's a massive piece. Cheers. Mm. 35 baht as well. Such a good price. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Heavy, oily, crispy. Nice and spicy from those chilies. Oh yeah. What do you think, Lee? It's so good. Like, look at that piece of pork. Hmm. Delicious. And she's so kind that she's like seeing. Yeah, really nice people. Really good food. Perfect way to start off the day. Let's finish this, and I'm gonna try and find out how to get to the beach we're going to. Hello, mad. Right. Look at the state of this one. The absolute Harley Davidson rip-off of dreams. Washing station, laundry land. I've got to appreciate it. I love a good rip-off, but that's like just so unrelated to anything. Strange. We're in the local market now in Chumpon and we're trying to find some pomelo to take to the beach with us. Or some other fresh fruit. Do they have it anywhere here? They've just got, so they've got the white pomelo. But we want to try the pomelo we've seen. It's got the red flesh inside. So what do you have? Ah, it'll be, oh, this will come out hard, please. Can't find the red pomelo. We'll keep looking for a little bit and then we'll just get something else if we can't find any. I'll tell you what, the chump on big fresh market is well cool it's absolutely massive there's all kinds of stuff in here this actually looks like a really really good Thai market you can see the size of like the hall here it's absolutely giant they're selling everything fish chilies meat fruit veg look at this But we can't find what we're looking for. Can't find any of that red pomelo, so 
maybe we'll just leave it and try and find a way to get to the beach, so yeah. Just ask this bloke where well, the song tower is. Zip. Zip at moon. Zip at moon. Zip at moon. Half ten, half ten. Okay, a couple of cab. In an hour and ten minutes, brilliant. Right, absolute disaster. This is the Song Tao pickup spot. The yellow Song Tao, local Song Tao, runs to Tung Wu Len Beach where we we're going. But it, I don't know if it's just it's a weekday or what, but it's only going like four times today. And the next one is at half eleven in two hours. So we're just gonna have to wait. We're gonna go back to the hotel, chill out, maybe go to the coffee shop. I don't know. And then come back at half eleven. Yeah. It is what it is. It's not all doom and gloom on the way back. We have found the red pomelo. Here she is. Sawadi kap. Ani thao lai kap. Ning loi. Loi hasit. 150. We'll get this to taste the beach for us after. If we ever make it to the bloody beach. Any alloy? Alloy. Alloy mag. Alloy mag mag. One mag. One. One. Ah, okay. We've never tried this one before. Bajak. Pate da rai ka? Bengkol Anggit. Anggit hap. Anggit. 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 Kun mazak tinai hap. Oh, kopong hap. Not good. Here she is with the pomelos, look at that for a shot. Is that not just make you want to buy one? As you can see here, uh, this should be really good. Perfect beach snack. Ah, couple more cup. That's great. 100 baht for that, so... That's like, two, just over two pounds, not too bad. It's really heavy to fern. Pomelo does seem to be a little bit more expensive than like, other fruits. We've been eating in Thailand anyway, so now we'll see you after when we hopefully get that song towel and make it to the beach. Here it is, the yellow song towel that runs to the beach. It's actually full. We're back at half eleven to, to get on, but yeah. So what do you have? What do you have? <laughs> Finally. Oh, I'll sit here. Character. Oh, we're finally here. Finally on the way. <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been terrible, hasn't it? It's been it? a hard day. <laughs> here you get a bit of a breeze, not bad at all. Maybe like 15, 20 minutes. There we go, there's the beast. 40 baht each. Not too bad. Like a 20, 25 minute drive. And the beach is here. And it's actually really windy here. I didn't expect it to be this windy, it's windy. And a little bit choppy as well. We'll take a look at the beach in a second, but made a big mistake because we obviously we tried to go so early absolutely starving might have to grab something to eat right i was getting really really hangry then i was like hating lad oh we can have super oh we're allowed to do this oh cop on cab yeah so i was getting really hangry but it's all all right, we've got some food, we've got the goods. We just essentially walked in the first lady that smiled at us, we came in. And this lady's absolutely lovely, this auntie. We've got a pad mou gratien, it's a massive portion. This is 50 baht, and then we've got a mango papaya salad, which looks really good. What's this? She's still in life. Oh, mayo, mayo, go home cab. Trying to sell us through. From the lady going by on the bike, yeah, hustler. So what we have here is a spicy mango salad. So there's a lot of chili in there. Is it like unripe mango? It looks really good to be fair. Tomorrow, let's just get a big handful of this. 
she is. Mm. Mm. Good, is it? Good, isn't it? Really good. Sweet for them. The chili in there is nice and hot. Mm. Really refreshing. Mm. Yeah, spicy chili is really good. Mm. First time we've had that. That's really good. Oh, feel. Yeah. Feel. <laughs> <laughs> it really yeah, sour. It's really sour. sour. <laughs> so this is the mango that is in the spicy mango salad. Really sour. She really wanted to do that. That's pretty bad. Oh. It's quite nice though. It tastes a bit it's extremely sour. Almost soapy. Mmm. That's an addictive flavour though, do you like that? But how does That's she like... get that? She balances that out because mm. that is super, super sour, so she balances that out so well. Yeah, she really does it well with the chilli and mm. all of this stuff. <laughs> me, me, prick, prick. Pick! Um, how do you say it? Pom chop, pick, chop. Pom chop, pick, <laughs> So this is that pad mugratti and the garlic pork. Leisha's gonna get a big spoonful of it. It looks really good to me, but there's a lot of meat in there, isn't there? Mm. 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 It's not alright. Right. It's filling. Yeah. It's 50 bites, it's a big portion. Mm. It's alright. It's not very long. <laughs> it's not very It's filling, which is all we need. I'm gonna this. The mango salad is absolutely delicious. Just got some extra chilies to go with it. Really, really good. Sour mango goes literally perfectly with the chilies. And the lime in there. It's really tasty, isn't it? It's really good. It's my favourite ever. Favourite salad. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of that. Alright, guys, here we are. This place is absolutely beautiful. This is Tungu Lane. Bit hard to say, but yeah. That is the beach wrap. The tide is going out, so you can see we've got loads of beach. It's palm tree backed. It's really windy today, so it is a bit rough, the sea is rough. And it is actually really beautiful. Yeah, tree backed all the way over there. A bit of a mountain at the end. And yeah, it's really quiet, isn't it? There's pretty much no one here. I mean, it is a weekday, I bet at the weekend there's loads of Thai locals, but that doesn't bother us. They're doing a bit of work here. Let's take a look at the ocean though, eh? Yeah, it's really nice. Not actually much litter as well. We'll see at the back of the beach, but yeah, it doesn't look like there is much litter. I thought there would be quite a bit, but... No, it seems quite nice. Might go for a swim, might not. I bet the water's warm, let's have a look, eh? Really nice little place, honestly. Yeah, nice temperature, really nice. Really pleasant, actually. Just a few waves, nothing mega though. You can still easily go for a swim, like, so. Yeah, there's people in over there. Oh, I hope we've got a beach doggo. There's always the beach dogs everywhere you go. Oh, the eat pal. Not very chassis, is it? Really nice little place, this, isn't it? It's massive, though. Look how long it is. It's super, super long. Really bright as well, the sun. I'm like a mall. So at the back, though, we've just got loads of restaurants. Places selling like inflatables and all kinds of rubbish. Loads of restaurants. Some of them are obviously really expensive, but some are just like normal prices to be fair. It's not like 
in a usual beach destination where the price on the menu just all of a sudden increases by five times. It's not like that. You can see in the distance a few islands. And yeah, just really peaceful. I think the beauty of it is there's pretty much no one here, so it's just chilled out. I think there's also a few hotels here. But again, the beauty of this is like, if there is a hotel, where are they? You, you tell me, because everything's just low, everything's flat. Like there's nothing built above the tree line. For me, that's what completely spoils the beach. Like when they start building these massive hotels above the tree line, and they start building, you know, all your rubbish, 7-Elevens, and all that garbage. Here, it's just chilled. Everything seems to be local business. So, so far, so good. Really cool little place. Tung Tung Wu Lane Beach. Hard to say, but yeah. What's this? Oh, what are these? Little mussels, little shellfish. What's that leash? What's it? Little shellfish. What are they? How cool is that? That's just in the sea and there's a shell on it. What are they though? They're all like hanging out of the shell. I don't know what these are. Someone tells what these are. Go to fly it. So it's a coconut. Oh. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> so hot. God, I spoke too soon. Here is all the crap. Like all the plastic rubbish that just washes up. Which is always a shame, isn't it? They must clean, you know, down, down near the end of the beach. They must clean it up every day. I mean, it is what it is. I do expect it. At a local beach like this, I don't expect it to be like pristine. Let's just hope there's no needles in the beach. Like we've seen before. What's that you've got? <laughs> Is it alive? No. Dead crab. Hello? Is it a mama? Yeah. Oh, you're cute, aren't you? You made us fast asleep. Fast asleep in the sand. She, she woke up, she came over because she thought we were going to feed her. And now, now the promise of food is gone. She's straight back to the mud. She's getting back in a little it's hole as well. She's literally dug herself a little chicken hole. You look sorry, what are you up to? Oh God, we've come across a right mess. The curry shack, Indian, Mexican, and Western food and drink. That leash says three things that should never, ever, ever be put together. Shocking stuff. What we've actually come down here for is to check out this little coffee shop, which is a van. It's like a Volkswagen Combi. So we're gonna hopefully get a coffee and just sit in the shade and just soak up the, the scenes because I've had enough of the sun. And this looks really cute, doesn't it? Just a heifer. So what do you have? Ah. What do you have? How cool is this? So what do you have? Wow, this is beautiful. It's very nice. Really? Yeah. Let's have a look at what we've got. Let's put our pomelo on the chair, not on the floor. What have we got? Well, I'm just going to get an Americano, but do they do it with Look, they have Colombia. Ah. Look at It smells good. Oh, that smells well good, it's a little chocolatey. That smells fantastic. I wonder if they go Americano with that. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, she just said that. Me, Americano, Ani. I don't know. I'll go home. Yen, yen, chai, cap, yen. Oh, she's got coconut lattes. They do all kinds of stuff, don't they? Coconut lattes. We have a nice little menu, Americano, Espresso, Mocha, all your classics. Then obviously they do the Thai tea, honey lemon tea. Anything else cool? They do fresh cocoa. And all the prices are really, really good though. That's what? 
pretty much like 40 to 60 baht for everything. And again, we're on the beach. Like, you think, you think things should be more expensive, like anywhere else in the world. The coffee shop on the beach. It's going to be double, triple the price here. That's actually cheaper than some of the places we've been, like in Chumpon Town. It's more expensive, but yeah, we'll get a coffee with this view. This is such a cool little spot, and I've only just realised leisha has got an ice latte and the Volk coffee obviously stands for Volkswagen. What an absolute idiot, I can't believe I didn't realise that. Let's try this Americano with the Colombian beans. That's delicious. Mm. That's perfect, that is absolutely delicious. That is just what you need on a roasting hot day here at the beach. And look at where we're sat. We're, we're pretty much on the beach. But the palm trees hanging out. Yeah. I mean, I bet it's a lot more beautiful when the tide's all the way in, but still, still super nice. Let's try your coffee. Yeah. We're going to mix your mix. That's so cute. That's like the dream, isn't it? It's really nice. You've got to appreciate it. They've just converted that little van into like a fully functional coffee shop, and it's tiny in there. It's a proper tiny little space. She just gave me the so at least you've got an iced latte with no sugar. It's so good, you can actually taste the coffee. Really? Taste milk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good, honestly, these are really good. What's your Colombia one? Go on, try it. I mean, there's worse places to have a coffee, isn't there? Look at the bloody view behind oh. Leash. Good. It's so good. I know, it's so good. I'm sorry, but Latin American coffee just hits different. Latin American coffee for me is always number one. It's so sweet. So here is that red pomelo and there's so much of this in here. It was 100 baht, which is like nearly £2.50, but you get loads of it. Look at the size of these pieces of pomelo. They are monsters. Really nice colour, isn't it? Let's try some. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. That's interesting because I thought it was going to be extremely sweet, but not that sweet. Hmm. I don't know if that's actually better than the normal pomelo. I don't think it is. I actually no. have a first sour pomelo. Hmm. Oh. I like the other one. Usually it's like really, really sweet when you first eat it and then it gets like a, has a bit of a bitter aftertaste. But I mean, it's still really nice. It's a really good fruit pomelo. If you don't eat it, you need to get on it. I think we'll spend another hour or so here until the Song Tao runs back to Chumpon City. Leash has chosen the greatest place to sit on the beach, underneath the coconut tree. So let's pray the coconuts don't fall on our heads. It's really beautiful to be fair, it is really beautiful. I mean, for a mainland beach, like this isn't an island, no, it's really nice. I had no expectations for this place. And as always, when, when you don't have an expectation, you're always pleasantly surprised, like, yeah. Really nice, really low key, not much going on, not many tourists at all. Bit of litter, yeah, well, that's life, it's a bit of a shame, I know, but... Yeah, quite a few decent restaurants as well, it seems. I am pleasantly surprised. Quite a nice place, what's it called, Tung? Oh, I've forgotten the name of the beach. Tung Wu Lane. Tung, Tung, Tung Wu Lane. Yeah, Tung Wu Lane here in Champon. Get yourself down here. Pretty nice. Maybe come rent a bike for a few days and just like do a bit of beach shopping because I can imagine there's a few other nice coves around here. And yeah, water's really nice, water's really clear. I've done enough waffling now. We'll just come and sit in the shade here. And like I said, Hope these coconuts don't fall on our heads and knock us out. Kill us. I don't fancy dying today. Yeah, nice spot in the shade. This is on the the fake Kindle. Uh, What's it called? Oh, the it's Cobo. A Cobo. It's a reputable brand, thank you very much. If you much. don't know, a Cobo, legendary. Put your Kindles in the bin. You just download free books off the internet. 
free bucks, unlimited free bucks. That's what you want to be doing. Yeah, there we go. Decent. So I do have to jump on. Okay, pop on cab. Here we go, the yellow song towel back. We we're actually starting to worry. It was never going to arrive, but here we are. Brought you back, back to the city. Bit of a quick video, I just wanted to show you the local beach here in Champagne. And yeah, it's quite nice to be fair. Not touristy at all, just a, just a handful of people. More Thais than foreigners as well. Quite a nice little place, and yeah. You've got to love riding in the Songtao because it's just all open air. Yeah, really nice. You just get the breeze on you. And yeah, it's worth coming to actually this beach. Tung. Oh, I've forgotten the name. You get what I'm on about. Yeah, nice one for watching.